Hello everyone, this is Preeti. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, in my last video, we have done face detection using OpenCV and Python. So in this video, we are going to detect face landmarks such as nose, eyes uh, in videos via webcam. So this is exactly what we are going to do today. Okay, to show you guys, uh, let me just run this program. Okay. It may take some time and here it is. You can see that it can my eyes, face as well as nose. So let's discuss uh, what we are going to do today. We will see what is video. Then why do we need video processing? Uh, how to play a video from a file? Now then we will read and display video from webcam. Then we will save the camera video. And at the end, we will discuss how to perform real time eye, face, and nose detection using OpenCV. Well, video is a collection of image frames in which the transition is made between frames at a particular frame rate. Now, the question arises why do we need video processing? Well, the introduction of continuous frame cameras has transformed how the world sees. Video processing is being widely used in industries to automate inspections uh, for CCTV, camera monitoring and even for video analysis uh, like we can use that in sports where we want to analyze slow motions and then in robots, self-driving cars and the list goes on. It doesn't end here. Now. Uh, let's begin with the practical implementation. So to play a video, you need few things. First of all, you must be familiar with these things. Well, video capture function is used to initialize the video capture object. Read as we have already used read for reading images and I am show for uh, showing the image. We have already done this uh, wait key as well. So I'm not going to explain each and everything in detail. So if you are not familiar with such uh, these functions, uh, basic functions, you can uh, watch my first video. I will write, uh, provide the link in the description below. And then there is a release function to release the capture. Don't worry, we will do everything with practical implementation. So first of all, you have to import uh, these necessary libraries. This is just CV2. And before this, you need to install CV2. And for this, you have to use pip install opencv uh, python. And if you are not familiar with how to install it, that I have uh, described in my first video. So you can watch that video. After installation and importing necessary libraries, what I am doing, I am just loading the cascade function. So here I am using cascade classifier for frontal face, eye and for nose. There are multiple cascade functions available like for smile, and for even objects you can use any one whatever you want now i have already told you that we are going to initialize the video capture object using this video capture function so here what i'm doing i'm just initializing a video capture object and remember one thing if you want to read the uh, uh, if you want to play the video from the file from any you know file then you can write down the file name here fine so if you want to use the webcam instead of any file then you can mention either 0 or 1 here remember one thing if you want to use webcam you can mention either 0 or 1 here otherwise you have to mention the name of your file uh, within inverted commas now after this our video a uh, capturing object has been initialized now what i am going to do i'll read it frame by frame and convert vgr to gray as we do in the images images also what we do we just first use im read to read the image then we convert them that vgr to gray and in this uh, once uh, the video frame wrapper will be start it will read it per frame by frame and then convert it into gray scale so this is the function I'm using if it is true so it will start capturing the frame using read function fine so capture here is nothing actually capture is our object we have created for this webcam if you have mentioned any file here so it will uh, capture that file in this object and in this variable sorry and it will start reading that file so it will start capturing the frames from the webcam 
now it will start converting rgb to gray so here i am using cv2 dot color bgr to gray i have already told you uh, in the first video about these things few things so if you are not familiar with the the basic image processing i would suggest you guys to watch that video first now i am using detect multi scale function here uh, this too i have described in my last video but uh, let me just briefly explain it this function actually detects the actual face and the nose and the eye that is the key part of our code so that's why i am describing this function again here basically it has arguments uh, first argument here is a gray scale image fine so uh, basically detect multi scale function is general function that detects objects so since here we are calling face cascade nose cascade and eye cascade so that's what it will detect now the second argument here it is a scale factor so since some faces may be closer to the camera they would appear bigger than the faces in the back or similarly with eyes and nose the scale factor will compensate for this and the third uh, actually the third argument is minimum uh, min neighbors it defines how many objects are detected near the current one before it declares the face or nose or eye found now next we are just drawing a rectangle where our, our face has been found this is for face detection so we will uh, draw uh, it will draw a rectangle around the face and till here this code is similar to that one we have done in the last video so it will show us face with a rectangle around the face now here what we are doing we are just creating a region of interest in color image and the gray scale and after that we will apply an eye detector on the gray scale region of interest so here also we are going to use detect multi scale so again we are going to create a rectangle around the eyes wherever the eyes has been found it will create a rectangle and this thing here is actually for color color uh, whatever color we want we can mention it here now similar thing that we have done for face and eyes we will do that for nose as well and again we are drawing rectangles around the nose now we will use i am show function to display it it is i am show image show is an inbuilt function so it will display it and here this thing is actually a frame name so whatever name you want to display on your window it will display this name and this is actually what we are capturing name of our uh, like we are uh, storing the webcam object this uh, video capturing object with capturing name so whatever name you are saving it with whatever variable name you can mention it here this is similar to that we have done in image processing and now wait key we know that uh, it will wait for a particular milliseconds if you have mentioned otherwise you can also mention any key if you want any key to process uh, press and if we press that particular key it will exit the program now release all the video capture device and close all the windows it is now let me just run the program and you can see okay let me just play this video as well Okay, now let me just change the video. Let's say if we have multiple faces, so it can detect that too. Now, if you want to save your video file, you have to uh, do two things. First of all, you have to initialize a video writer. So here I have added this code. So you have to initialize a video writer. Uh, video writer, and to save the video file, you can mention any name you want to uh, save it with. now after initializing the video writer you have to save it with using out dot write so save each frame into video writer using this code fine so once when i'll run so this is our code and let's just stop this and you can see that this is uh, my file output.avi it has been saved here and let me just take you to this folder 
and let me just run this that it has been saved or not to check it so it has been saved actually it has been saved you can see that so in this video you have learned about what video is why do we need video processing and how we can do few things with video processing so you have seen here how to uh, play a video or how we can even read or display the video from webcam uh, apart from this you have also done a mini project on face eyes and uh, nose detection and at the end you have seen how you can save your camera video on your system so that's all about today's video i hope you have uh, learned something new and if you have learned something new please like the video and subscribe the channel stay tuned bye bye thank you so much